Good morning, children. Welcome to online classes DUO Nalgunda. Here I am going to explain tenth class topic. Nana quadratic equations. Here it is a part uh, four. Part four. Few more problems from exercise number five point two. Look at here first question. Solve the following equation. Root two times of x square plus seven x plus five root two is equal to zero. Here it is a second degree equation. It contains single variable x, and here x square coefficient which is not equal to zero. X square coefficient is not equal to zero. That's why here it is a quadratic equation. First of all, we need to we need to resolve into factors. First, look at here, Nana. The product of x square coefficient and constant. The product of x square coefficient and constants. Here, root two into five root two. Root two times of five root two. Look at here, Nana. Root two into root two two. Root two into root two value two into five. The product of x square coefficient and constant that is equals ten. Here plus into plus. Here it is the plus ten only. The product of x square coefficient and constant which are signs positive sign means we need to add the two required factors. इकड सिंबल पॉजिटिव उसे मन फैक्टर्स ऐडी इफ द प्रोडक्ट आफ दी टू नंबर्स इज नैगटिव दीड टू सब्राक्ट हिर् ना टेन ईज रिटर्न ऐज टू फाइव टेन एंड वेर ऐज टू प्लस फाइव इज ईक्वल टू सैवन टू प्लस फाइव ईक्वल टू सैवन लुक रूट टू टाइम आफ एक्स स्क्वे Root two times of x square same as it is taken plus this seven is written as so middle term coefficient the coefficient of x please x is splitting into sum of two factors sum of two numbers that is seven is written as two plus five two plus five into x plus Here five root two five into root two same it is taken same as it is so just only seven seven is written as sum of two factors that is two plus five sum of two numbers here root two times of x square plus according to right distributive property two into x two x plus five into x five x Plus five root two is equal to zero. Look at here, Nana. First of all, the first two terms is taken as one combination, and second two terms is taken as one combination. From these two terms, look at here. Root two times of x square means x into x plus two is written as root two into root two. Why? Because here root two. Here also two is written as root two into root two into x plus five x plus five root two is equal to zero. Whereas from the first two terms here just seven is written as seven is written as two plus five, and here it is according to right distributive two into x two x plus five into x five x. Here two is written as root two into root two. From the first two terms, here root two x and root two x. Root two x is taken as common. Root two x. If root two x is taken common, so what is the remaining term? Nana x plus root two. X plus root two. From the second group, from the second group, here phi and phi. Phi is a common term. Nana phi is a common form. Common term for for these two terms. That's why phi is taken as common. Plus phi is taken as common. Here remaining coefficient is x. Here remaining root two is equal to zero. Here x plus x plus root two is a linear factor. 
here x plus root 2 here also x plus root 2 from these two groups x plus root 2 is taken as common here if x plus root 2 equal to x plus root 2 is taken common means remaining term root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0 product of two linear factors here it is a quadratic equation quadratic equation is resolved into product of two linear factors which is equal to 0 if the product is 0 means any one of the linear factor which is equal to 0 then only this product becomes as 0 for example if it is 0 0 into something it becomes 0 if the second term value which is equal to 0 then 0 into something equal 0 any one of the term equal 0 then only this product becomes as 0 e rent into lo e rendu karanankallo edo oka karanankam any one of the term is 0 then only it becomes as 0 that's why here x plus root 2 is equal to 0 or or root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0 x is equal to the transposition of plus root 2 value nana minus root 2 or here root 2 x is equal to root 2 x is equal to transposition of plus 5 value minus 5 whereas x is equal to minus 5 reciprocal of root 2 is 1 by root 2. So transposition of root 2 is 1 by root 2. Therefore minus root 2 and minus 5 by root 2 are the roots of the equation here these are the these are roots of equation roots of an equation okay so here it is the first problem let us discuss about the second problem here in this problem look at here we are going to discuss about the second problem from exercise number 5.2 5.2 what is given in the problem look at here listen carefully from the second question from the second question here wait Nana find the two numbers question question number two find two numbers find two numbers find two numbers whose sum is 27 whose sum is given as whose sum is 27 and the product is 182 and the product of these two numbers product is 182 here it is a question look at here now, now what is given in the problem first read thoroughly what is given in the problem problem the aim what we have to find how can we find the result on those given numbers so aim it should do aim can quality ella can quality a mood in tini manandu slow and squally first listen carefully find the two numbers we need to find two numbers so we don't know the two numbers that's why here look at here solution according to the given statement let let x comma y be taken as two numbers let the required two numbers are let the two numbers be let the two numbers are a1 kutananana x and y here the required two numbers are x and y first condition sum of these two numbers is given as 27 x plus y is equal 27 according to the first statement sum of the two numbers is 27 means x plus y is equal 27 and next nana second condition also given there second condition and the product is 182 product means we should multiply those two nana x into y is equal to 182 here it is the second question First of all, x plus y equal 27 is the first, first condition and the product xy is equal to 182 is the second condition. So we are discussing about the quadratic equation. We need to form a quadratic equation with the help of these two conditions. Each and twenty two conditions nichinana quadratic equations solve chayali, form a formation chayali. So I will explain this problem in two methods. Then you rendu padatulo chapter nano, first method chunana. So 
so here we need we need quadratic equation in terms of single variable okay variable undal nana that is so general standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c which contains single variable x that's why eliminating the variable y y is equal to 27 plus x transformation is minus x here y is equal to 27 minus x here it is the first condition here it is the first condition substituting y value substituting substituting y value here substitu substituting y value in equation 2 substituting y value in equation 2 so whereas x into y is equal to 182 x into y is equal to 182 x same as is taken value of y the value of y is 27 minus x is equal to 182 x into x into the value of y is 27 minus x is equal to 182 according to left distributive property here i am multiplying x into 27 27 x minus x into x x square is equal to 182 okay so x into 27 27 x minus x into x x square is equal to 182 the transposition of minus x square plus x square the transposition of plus 27x is minus 27x plus 182 is equal to left side values which e, which is equal to 0 chodana minus x square ni right side teesukochanu plus 27x right side ochesindi here so no more term that's why it is equal to 0 so x square minus 27x plus 182 equal to 0 here we obtain from this kind from the above conditions we obtain a linear equation here it is a second degree equation in which contains single variable also the coefficient of x square value which is not equal to 0 that's why here it is a quadratic equation meanwhile in this quadratic equation x square coefficient is equal to 1 x square coefficient e mundi nana 1 ondi already in no part 1 part 2 part 3 e already so I told you about whenever the coefficient of x square equal to 1 it is easy to resolve into factors using identical rule that is x square plus of a plus b into x plus a b whenever the equation whenever a quadratic equation which is in this form so whenever x square coefficient is equal to 1 then this equation is written as product of two linear factors that is x plus a into x plus b here it is a very simple method nana whenever the equation whenever the coefficient of x square equal to 1 then we need to we need to split the coefficient of x as sum of two numbers or difference of two numbers and the constant value which can be split into product of two factors that's why here i am going to convert i am going to convert the above equation into this form look at here nana first plus into plus plus only the product of x square coefficient and constant 182 ones are 182 so it is resolved into 182 is expressed as product of prime factors here 2 nines are 18 2 ones are again 91 is written as 13 7 are 91 so or otherwise divide with 7 7 1 just 7 2 is a reminder 2 1 becomes as 21 7 3 is a 21 so while multiplying of these two prime factors 7 2 is a 7 2 is a 14 into 13 so the product of these two factors nana 14 into 13 is equal to 182 meanwhile so what about the constant sign look at here positive into positive plus into plus it becomes positive 182 which assigns the positive sign whenever this product whenever this product which assigns positive symbols means we need to add the two factors product positive symbol factors 
इकडे ई प्रॉडक्ट की नेगेटिव सिंबल उंटे वी नीड टू सब्ट्रैक्ट दीज फैक्टर्स हियर इट इज पॉजिटिव नाना दैट्स व्हाई आई एम ऐडिंग 14 प्लस 13 व्हिच इज इक्वल 27 14 प्लस 13 इज इक्वल 27 दैट्स व्हाई लुक एट हियर सो x स्क्वायर x स्क्वायर माइनस ऑफ 27 इज रिटन एज 14 प्लस 13 27 is written as 14 plus 13. So middle term coefficient which can be expressed as sum of two factors plus constant value can be splitted into product of two factors that is 14 into 14 into 13 is equal to 0. Here this equation whenever so compare these two equations Rana, x square x square both are same. So, x coefficient a plus b, a plus b. Constant value split it into product of two factors equal 0. Here it is in this form. This equation which is in identical form. E form lo undi nana. Then, apremen raya chunana, this quadratic equation is written as x plus c a into x plus b. Here also, simply I am written, uh, I am writing this one as x minus 14 is the first two factor x square means x into x na na x square means x into x one x meant for 14 and another x meant for 13 x minus 14 is the first linear factor and x minus 13 is the another linear factor x minus 14 is the first linear factor and x minus 13 is the another linear factor which is equal to 0 according to this identity so if x minus 14 equal to 0 means x is equal to 14 whereas x is equal to 14 or x is equal to 13 so here look at here the first term sum of two terms is 27 sum of two terms is 27 if the first term is 14 means second term value 13 so 13 should be added to 13 should be added to 14 then we get the sum 27 here if x is equal to 13 then the second term will be 14 14 should be added to 13 then the sum will be equal to 27 here it is the problem once again look at here carefully what is given in the problem find two numbers find the two numbers whose sum is given as 27 find the sum of two numbers so where where sorry sum of two numbers is 27 let the unknown two values are taken as x and y here sum of two numbers means x plus y equal 27 and the product of two numbers is 182 means product means x into y is equal to 182 here we are discussing about the quadratic equation quadratic equation standard form is ax square plus bx plus c so here it contains a single variable but here we obtain two variables that's why eliminating the eliminating a variable where y is equal to 27 minus x substituting y value in the first equation in the second equation x into instead of y i am taking 27 minus x is equal to 182 by multiplying of these two we obtain a quadratic equation so while resolving into factors here first of all it is easy to resolve into factors because here x square coefficient is 1 so here we are utilizing this identical rule x square plus whenever the equation which is in this form x square plus a plus b into x plus a b it can be written as x plus a into x plus b so meanwhile x square minus of 27 is written as 14 plus 13 into x 182 is written as 14 into 13 that's why x minus 14 is the first factor and x minus 13 is the second factor if x minus 14 equals 0 the product of these two linear factors 0 means any one of fact of any one of the factor equals 0 then only the product becomes as 0 that's why x is equal 14 or x is equal 13 if the value of first term is 14 then the second term will be 27 minus 14 that is 13 if x is 13 then the value of y is equal 27 minus 13 that is 14 13 comma 14 are the two positive integers second method look at here nana i am explaining in second method 
linear equation in two variables that is we are using we are using previous chapter method so linear equations in two variables let the two numbers are x and y sum of two numbers is given as x plus y is equal to given 27 here it is the first equation nana and product of two numbers is given as 182 where we need to form so that where there is a relation between x and y x x plus y x minus y and x y we the middle of a relation on the nana that is x minus y whole square is equal to x minus y whole square is equal to x plus y whole square minus 4xy. Here it is the relation between x minus y, x plus y and xy. a minus b whole square is written as a minus b whole square is written as a plus b whole square minus 4ab. a minus b whole square is written as a plus b whole square minus 4ab. Using this identical rule here substituting the values whereas x minus y whole square is equal to x plus y value 27, 27 square minus 4 times of x y value 182. Look at here Nana, x minus y whole square is equal to 27, 27 ja 729 minus 4 182 ja here 728. So here x minus y whole square is written as 1 or not. The difference of 729 minus 728 is 1. 1 is written as 1 square. Here applying square root on both sides. x minus y is equal to 1. Whereas look at here. x minus y is equal to 1 is the third equation. Here it is the first equation. Here it is the second equation. Solving 1 and 3, we obtain two linear equations. We obtain two linear equations. That is, first one is x plus y is equal to 27. x plus y is equal to 27. And x minus y is equal to 1. So, by adding of these two equations, by adding of these two equations, plus y get minus y. So, both are added to inverse to each other. The sum of these two terms is equal to 0. Then x plus x x is equal to 2x. 2x is equal 28 nana. So here, so making subject as a subject, coefficient of subject is equal to 1. That's why dividing by 2 on both sides, 2 1s are 2 14s are. Whereas the first term value which is equal to 14, x value 14. What about the second term? So 13 should be added to 14. Then we will get sum is equal to 27. Therefore, the second term value is 13. Here it is the second method. Here it is the second method. Okay. So simple nana. Meru linear equations in two variables utilizes kunte e method lo chali. Quadratic equation form lo chali alon kunte e method lo chendi. Exam lo meru e chapter leke lichara, a chapter leke lichara e mi varu. The choice is left for you only. Choice will be left to you only. Okay. So okay. Next, let us discuss about the next problem. Next, Nana. So, here problem number 3. Let us discuss about the problem number 3. Find two consecutive, find two consecutive positive integers, two consecutive positive integers, positive integers, find two consecutive positive integers. Sum of whose squares is given as 613. Look at here. Find two consecutive positive integers. Sum of whose squares is 613. Look at here, Nana. What is given in the problem? Sum of. So, sum of squares of the two positive integers 6 is 613. Those are consecutive positive integers. 3 comma 4 are consecutive. 6 comma 7 are consecutive. 10 comma 11 are consecutive. 1 comma 2 are consecutive. The difference between the two consecutive integers is 1. That's why here let, let x and x plus 1 are the are two consecutive positive integers. Two consecutive consecutive positive integers positive 
integers. A prime one could not x and x plus one are the two consecutive positive integers. Means what is given? Square of square of those numbers is sum of squares of those numbers is 613. Sum of sum of squares of the two the two consecutive integers. Sum of squares of Two consecutive integers is equal to 613. I like shadow. So next nana expanding expanding x square a plus b whole square expansion a square plus 2a b plus b square is equal to 613. So 2x square plus 2x plus plus 1 minus 613 that is minus 612 is equal to 0 dividing by 2 on both sides 2 1s are 2 1s are 2 3s are 2 0 are 2 6 are here uh, keep consideration are here 2 3s are 2 6 are I could 2 3s are 6 2 0 are 2 6 are whereas x square plus x minus 306 is equal to 0 so this identical equation this identical equation can be splitted into x square plus of a plus b into x plus a b is equal to the name and reaction on a x plus a into x plus b whereas here look at here the com product of product of x square coefficient and x co constant nana plus into minus minus 306 306 which assigns a negative sign that's why we need to subtract the factors we need to subtract the factors a my to nana 3 not 6 name and also not only expressing as a product of primes 3 1 ja 3 0 ja 3 2 ja here 3 3 is a 9 3 4 ja here 217 ja 217 ja look at here 3 3 is a 9 9 2 is a 18 18 into 17 so here x square plus of 1 is written as so 18 minus 17 is equal to 1 the product of x square coefficient and constant which assigns negative sign that's why we need to subtract the factors nana 1 is written as 18 minus 7 into x plus here minus 18 into 17 is equal to 0 first factor x plus 18 is the first factor and x minus 17 is the second factor whereas x is equal to minus 18 or x is equal to 17 so and in I could have negative we are discussing about the positive integers we are discussing about the positive consecutive integers but minus 18 is negative term which is not not acceptable which is not acceptable so we need positive integers only here it is not acceptable therefore the first consecutive integer is 7 and its first term is 17 and its consecutive integer is 18 17 comma 18 17 comma 18 are the two consecutive positive integers okay x and x plus 1 are the two consecutive positive integers sum of squares of the two positive integers is 613 so while expressing expanding with a plus b whole square formula here it is a quadratic equation dividing by two on both sides here one is written as 18 minus 7 and 18 3 not 6 is written as 18 into 17 x plus 18 is the first factor and x minus 17 is the second factor okay x is equal to minus 18 which is not acceptable that's why it is a negative number so x is equal to plus 17 if 17 is the first number means consecutive term is 18 17 comma 18 are the two consecutive terms next nana look at here fourth problem nenu mottham problem meeku cheppanu quadratic equation form chese ento varike forming a quadratic equation varike nenu cheptanu remaining meeru try cheyandi so here fourth one the altitude of a right angle triangle look at here fourth one fourth one the altitude write on the problem meer statement chusukunnana just i am giving you fourth and fifth problems meek homework is sunano fourth and fifth i am giving homework to you so look at here what is given in the fourth problem the altitude of a right angle triangle is 7 cm less than its base the altitude of right angle triangle is 7 cm less than its base let the base will be taken as x and height is 7 centimeters less than its base okay base of the triangle is x and height will be altitude nothing but height height of the right angle triangle is 7 centimeters less than its base and uh, and 
uh, hypotenuse value is given as 13 centimeters nana whereas in this triangle meer cheyandi in this triangle so here it is right angle triangle so according to baudayana or pythagoras theorem ab square plus ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square square of hypotenuse square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of the remaining two sides by substituting all these values in the given equation so we can obtain a quadratic equation by resolving into factors we will get x x value okay na idi meeku ee vidhanga meer cheyandi next nana fifth one problem number 5 what is given in the problem number 5 here also look at here so i am giving homework to you so a cottage industry produces a certain number of pottery articles a cottage industry produces a an articles in a day certain number of articles in a day oka kutira parisrama vallu chinna aata vasulu tayar chestunnana number of articles produced on the day is taken as number of articles number of articles which produce on on a day is x okay cost of each item here it was observed on a particular day that the cost of production of each article was 3 rupees more than twice the number of articles cost of each article cost of each article cost of each article కొన్ని ఆట వస్తువులు తయారు చేస్తున్నారు ఒక్కొక్క ఆట వస్తువుకి కాస్ట్ ఎంత పెట్టారంటే నానా త్రీ రూపీస్ మోర్ దెన్ ట్వైస్ ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్టికల్స్ సో ఈచ్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ ఐటమ్ ఈస్ త్రీ రూపీస్ మోర్ దెన్ త్రీ రూపీస్ మోర్ దెన్ ట్వైస్ ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్టికల్స్ టూ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ త్రీ ఇఫ్ ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్టికల్స్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఆన్ ద డే ఈస్ ఎక్స్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ ఈచ్ ఆర్టికల్ ఈస్ టూ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ త్రీ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ ఇఫ్ ద టోటల్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొడక్షన్ ద డే ఈజ్ నైంటీ టోటల్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొడక్షన్ ఆన్ ద డే ఈజ్ నైంటీ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ టోటల్ శ్రీఖండ్ అన్న ఎక్స్ ఐటమ్స్ తయారు చేశారు ఒక్కొక్క ఐటమ్కి టూ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ త్రీ ఇవి సేల్ చేస్తే వాళ్ళకి ఎన్ని రూపీస్ వచ్చాయి నైంటీ రూపీస్ సో కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ టోటల్ ప్రొడక్షన్ నైంటీ మీన్స్ సో నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్టికల్స్ into cost of each article cost of each article is equals 90 for example they are producing 10 articles rose 10 vasulu tayar chestunnana 10 bommalu tayar chestunnaru cost of each article em annadu 3 rupees more than 3 rupees more than twice the number of articles ante 3 rupees more than twice of 10 em aitundana 20 so number of articles 10 cost of each article is 23 so how much amount they will collect from the toys a bommal nunchi manam enta 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 amount vastunna na 23 10s 210 so 230 okokka okokka vasu ki 23 rupees teeskunte 10 items sell chese 23 into 10 230 here also the cost of production is given as 90 cost of production means number of articles into cost of each article so while multiplying of these two 2x into x 2x square plus 3x minus 90 is equal to 0 resolving into factor solve the equation nana ini meeku homework isthunnanu ee rendu kuda meeru homework cheyandi here also nana so ab value x minus 7 whole square plus bc value x square is equal 13 square so it is solve chesi solve chesi ee rendu solve cheyandi these are meant for your homework okay next let us discuss about the sixth problem let us discuss about problem number 6 <coughs> what is given in the sixth problem look at here find the dimensions of find the dimensions of find the dimensions of a rectangular plot a rectangular rectangular plot ah uh, find the dimensions of a rectangle whose rectangle rectangle whose perimeter is whose perimeter is 28 meters perimeter is 28 meters and area is equal area is equal 40 square meters 
so look at here nana previously already first problem lo manam discuss chesam ee roju cheppina 20 problem lo second problem nana second problem lo manam discuss chesamo same model lo undi what is that means so sum of two numbers is 27 and product of one kuntu cheppam same model lo undi i will give you a hint hint isunanu chudandi so what is given in the problem find the dimensions of a rectangle find the dimensions of a rectangle rectangle gurinchi he is discussing about the rectangle rectangle em untundi nana here it is a rectangle here it is a rectangle length is taken as x and its breadth is taken as y length of the rectangle is taken as x breadth of the rectangle is taken as y here in this rectangle opposite lengths of opposite sides are equal lengths of opposite sides are equal okay what is given in the first first condition whose perimeter is 28 meters perimeter of the rectangle is 28 perimeter of the rectangle means perimeter perimeter of any figure means sum of lengths of all surrounding sides is called as sum of the lengths of all surrounding edges is nothing but the perimeter ivanni nana nalugu sides unnai kada four sides sum of all the four sides lengths of lengths of sum of all the four sides is nothing but perimeter so here two lengths and proved by two breadths uh, otherwise adding all the four sides x plus y plus x plus y is equal 28 meters sum of all the four sur surrounding sides is equal 28 x plus x double x nana 2 times of x y plus y 2 times of y is equal 28 dividing by 2 on both sides x plus y is equal to 14 2 ones are 2 ones are 2 14 so that's why here x plus y is equal 14 here it is the first equation and next area is equal 40 square meters area of rectangle means product of two adjacent side product of two adjacent side length into breadth so x into y is equal to 40 here it is a second equation so already you have seen now x plus y is equal to 14 and x y is equal to 40 so whereas y is equal to y is equal to 14 plus x same outunda na minus x here it is the first equation here it is the first equation so substituting y value in the second equation x into y value 14 minus x is equal to 40 so 14 into x 14x minus x square is equal to 40 here minus x square transposition plus x square plus 14x transposition minus 14x and plus 40 same as it is here is equal to 0 look at here 40 can be written as 40 is written as 10 for the 40 here x square minus of 14 is written as 10 plus 4 nana into x plus 40 is written as 10 into 4 is equal to 0 so here it is in this form x square plus of a plus b into x plus ab x square plus a plus b into x plus ab is equal to x plus a into x plus b x plus a into x plus b answer em avutunda na according to this identical rule here it can be written as x minus 10 into x plus 4 is equal to 0 x minus 10 into x plus 4 equal 0 whereas x is equal 10 or x is equal minus 4 x is equal 10 means x is equal 10 means here minus 4 we are discussing about the lengths of rectangle length and breadth of the rectangle so lengths are always positive only so here so x value minus 4 negative sign negative value which which is not acceptable so here x means x means length if it is a length of the rectangle length of the rectangle is 10 meters if length of rectangle is 10 meters then breadth breadth is equal to 14 minus 10 14 minus 10 that is 4 meters therefore the dimensions of the rectangle are 10 meters and 4 meters once again look it here ledu ante nana meer inkoka method lo cheyandi x minus y whole square is equals 
x plus y whole square minus 4 times of x y. This formula is the second previous problem. That model is solved. Nothing is given there. So, length is taken as x, breadth is taken as y. Perimeter of the rectangle. Perimeter means sum of all the four, four sides. x plus x plus double time of double time of l into b. l plus b. Two times of l plus b. Or x plus x plus y plus y is equal to 28. Double time of x plus double time of y is equal to 28. Dividing by 2 on both sides. x plus y equal 14. Whereas y is equal 14 minus x. And area is given as 40. Length into breadth. Substituting y value in this equation. Whereas x into Instead of 5 value, 14 minus x is taken as 40. So, multiplying of these two, here we obtain a quadratic equation. That quadratic, in this quadratic equation, here x square coefficient is 1. It is easy to resolve into factors using this identical property. Whenever it is x square plus of a plus b into x plus a b is written as x plus a into x plus b. Meanwhile, here also x minus 10 is the first linear factor. x minus 4, sorry, here x minus 4 is a x Sorry here, x minus 4 is the another linear factor. x is equal 10, x is equal 10 or x is equal 4. Here, if length is equal 10 centimeters, then breadth is 4. If breadth is 4, then length is equal 10. Normally, length value which is greater than breadth. So, length 10 centimeter, 10 meters and breadth 4 meters. Here, we could purport the reality. Set chess condi. Next, Nana, look at here. Next, look at the another problem. Just please, Nana, my intro practice chendi. Practice makes perfect. My any winner, Anand Kadu Mukhyam. Yenta ka practice is or ani dhan mida. My marks adar padi unthai. My score adar padi unthonde. Here, discussing another problem. Look at here. Seventh problem. Homework is Sunano Chudandi. What is given in the problem? The base of a triangle is the base of the triangle is 4 centimeters longer than its altitude. So whereas here look at here, for example, here it is a right angle triangle. Here I am taking a right angle triangle. So in this triangle A, B, C. What is given means the base of the triangle is the base of the triangle is 4 centimeters longer than base of base of the triangle is 4 centimeters longer than its altitude. So let the altitude is taken as x and base of the triangle is 4 meters longer than its altitude x into x and x plus 4. So here if the area of the triangle is 48 square meters, area of the triangle is given as 48. According to here, so whenever the base and the altitude is given, altitude nothing but height now. Na so here base is depending on its altitude. Base is depending on its altitude. So let the base of the triangle, let the base of the triangle is taken as x. And Sorry, sorry. Height of the triangle is taken as x. Height of the triangle is taken x. And its base will be, base will be 4 meters more than its altitude. Okay. Area of triangle. Area of the triangle. Area of triangle is given as, area of triangle is equal to here 48 square centimeters area of the triangle is equal to 48 square meter area of triangle nana formula half into base into height half into base into height is equal to 48 whereas half into base value x plus 4 and height value x is equal to 48 x into x x square plus x into 4 4x is equal to 48 to the 96. x square plus 4x minus 96 is equal to 0. So here x square coefficient which is equal to 1. x square coefficient is 1. That's why here simple method, simple method we can utilize this identity. x square plus of a plus b into x plus a b is written as 
ए बी इज रिटर्न एज एक्स प्लस सी ए इंटू एक्स प्लस बी यूजिंग दिस ईडेकल रूल यूजिंग दिस ईडेकल रूल एपड़ना सर ना ईजी अवत प्रॉब्लम एक्स स्क्वेर को अफिशेंट वन अंटे सो यूटिल दिस् फार्मला हियर वन मैनस् नई सिक्स मैनस् नई सिक्स the product of x square coefficient and constant which is negative negative means we should we need to subtract the factors we need to subtract the given factors look at here 12 eights are 96 12 eights are 96 while subtracting 12 minus 8 which is equal to 4 na na 12 minus 8 which is equal to 4 that's why here x square plus 4 is written as 12 minus 8 Four is written as twelve minus eight into x minus ninety six is written as twelve into eight. Comparing of these two equations, comparing these two equations here, x square, x coefficient is uh, splitted into sum of two factors or difference of two factors and constant value which can be splitted into product of two factors. So here it is written as. x plus 12 is the first linear factor and x minus 8 is the second linear factor whereas x plus 12 equals 0 means x is equals minus 12 so here height height it should not be negative height and the negative la undagurudu nana it is not acceptable so here x is equals 8 meters 8 meters so height of this altitude height height nothing but altitude of the triangle is 8 meters whenever altitude is 8 meters then base of the triangle is 4 meters more than its altitude 8 plus 4 that is 12 meters okay so half into base into height verification half into base into its height 21 26 86 square centimeters square square meters here it is the area 48 okay so let let base is depending on base is depending on its altitude that's why altitude is taken as x and base will be 4 meters more than its altitude so area of triangle means half into base into height so while cross multiplication x into x x square plus 4x is equal to 96 plus 96 is written as minus 96 here middle term can be expressed as difference of ikkada nana constant value negative unte subtract cheyali constant value positive unte add cheyali the product of these two product of these two which assigns negative sign that's why we need to subtract 12 minus 8 and here x plus 12 is the first linear factor x minus 8 is the second linear factor whereas x is equal to 8 is acceptable so height 8 and base 8 plus 4 12 okay it's enough next